Hello YouTubers, Paul Wooten, WRF Customs. Thought I'd give you a little video tonight um, showing you um, one of the castings that I enjoy collecting called the Jackhammer. Um, it originally came out as an acceleration. And uh, if anybody's wondering about my shirt, the shirt came from Walmart, I believe. I think it was in these little black tin cans. If I, I don't know if I'm correct on that, but I think that's where it came from. But the uh, jackhammer was originally, originally came out, in, let me look at my notes here, 2005. Came out in 2005. And most of my information that I get about these castings come from South Texas Diecast. Um, I just give him a shout out when I can, give him credit for the work that he's done on his site. Uh, he gives a lot of good information, pictures, and what have you. So if you ever use anything off his site, pictures, he most he has watermarks on most everything, but give him credit for it, you know. He took the time and built that site for all of us to use. So the first one, this one came from, I think, Metal Maniac, something like that. This is a gold with the coal mode accelerator wheels um, all these wagons are designed off of a nomad a Chevy nomad you know it's got the big wings in the back it's got the molding or over the windows it's got a um, access hole in the top with uh, all kinds of interesting components back there but that's number one that was the first one that came out The second one came out in a three pack, which was purple, with the acceleration wheels, same, same plastic body. Then they did the Mardi Gras Walmart edition. Once again, it's pla uh, metal body. I mean, metal base plastic body. This one is a, a gold metallic. It's got the green flames. The next one came from a uh, five pack. I'm pretty sure I'm right on that. This is a uh, green. The next one is a blue demolition derby model. Gray black tire, gold front tire, a little more detail on the plastic. This one here doesn't even show up on his site. Um, it is a blue one. I don't even remember what set it came out of, to be honest with you. There's a few that, um, let me get my camera going here. I took some pictures of the screen so I could show you two of them that I don't have yet. This has got like a dragon on the side of it. That came from, just about all these came in five packs or three packs. I think only two or three of them actually came in singles. And then this one here is kind of a, is a five pack. And I apologize for this focus. This is driving me nuts. I've tried for the last 20 minutes to get this lighting right, but I'm aggravated a little bit, so. Anyway, just found a five pack today. If you saw my previous video, it was a five pack. And I was looking at it, and I don't really like to buy five packs with one with just one car that I like. I try to at least get two. So I'm I'm I got two faves in this particular pack, but um, I'll get to that in a minute. But this here is a red one. It also came part of the demolition derby. Try to sneak up on the focus there, but it's not going to cooperate. All right, so those are the jackhammers. Those are pretty sweet. I love that casting. Um, it's really heavy, even though it's got a plastic body on it. Um, it's actually pretty heavy. It's probably one of the heavier plastic body um, 
castings that you're gonna find out there. There's a lot of metal in that base. I think I think this originally set up for racing on uh, those acceleracer tracks or whatever. But if you know a little more about it, make a comment down below. And the other the other items that were in this pack is the bifocal Dixie Challenger. Yes, I said Dixie Challenger. Jackhammer, power driver, and roll cage. So these cars, to me, are not hot demolition derby cars. I, I can't imagine that being a demo car, but it's plastic metal. Bifocal, what did I say that was? Uh, no, bifocal two. Roll cage. And it's a metal body plastic base on that one. And then, this is, it says 70 Dodge Challenger on the bottom. I think it always has. But, um, on the package, it's got a Dixie Challenger. Remember, it came out with, uh, had a rebel flag on top and uh, Dixie Challenger on the hood. That's a older casting. It's been around since. Well, it's redated. It's redated. Um, 2007, but it's an 80s or maybe in 70s. original casting but anyway um that's my uh video on the uh jackhammer i did find miss sasha's over there did find a couple of these dodge trucks and three of these chevy trucks these will be customs at one time or another but uh i made that quick video there about the jackhammer i uh, appreciate everybody watching um please subscribe and hit the like button for me it's the one that's so um thanks for everybody again uh thanks for everybody watching and i appreciate all the subscribers thank you